class. That's one of our big, uh, big reveals for the show. And we had known that we wanted to do a range class very early on, in fact, from the beginning. And uh, what happened was, uh, after we had an NC Monk class, we really wanted to have a class to sort of offset against that a little bit more. And really long and hard thought about how we could we really make the last class we were announcing as interesting as possible. And uh, it was almost a no-brainer. We sort of worked on it a little bit, and we said, Demon Hunter is really the way to go. Um, we, we really wanted a character that had a little bit of mystery to her, a little bit on the dark side, so that you weren't quite sure where she was standing on certain issues. Maybe. Yeah, and for gameplay, we definitely needed a, a long-range character like the Amazon. We, you know, we wanted someone with attitude that wasn't that wasn't just like the Amazon exactly. So we worked together with that attitude and the desired long-range, you know, bow and arrow, crossbow gameplay. And now we have a dual-wield pistol trap combination. Uh, so it really did it did fill some of the some of the assassin role and certainly the Amazon role for us. In terms of just the visuals for uh, Diablo 3, um, I think the visuals are still very much in line with Diablo 2 uh, in terms of the mood and the sense of uh, foreboding and uh, darkness that you come expect from the series. But in a lot of ways, uh, we've done things to draw, really push and enhance uh, the way that it reads on uh, for the gameplay, and so that actually players have an easier way to use skills and really go crazy with the things that they really enjoy doing. The, the customization of how you use your skills was a, was a big uh, sticking point for us. Uh, we've broken out sort of the passive skills into tr the trait system, and the active skills we've really doubled down on, tripled down on, and you can just go completely nuts with it. That was the biggest thing for the system's uh, design side of, side of it. We just want to make sure that customization is fully fleshed out, uh, and we think it totally got there, and we're still working on it. PvP obviously has to be fun, um, and PvE though is really where we're at when we're looking at uh, the initial pass and the skills and the balance and, and, the, and the loot and all that. So what we what we did is we we put PV, PvP in its own space. Um, the arenas is a great place for you to go and just go nuts with the skills, come up with cool stuff. Uh, so what we, we thought, okay, let's put people in a place where they can just go crazy, they can explore, and they can have a lot of fun, and let's just focus the fun in an environment where we can, we can really make it, we can foster that. Um, and that allows us to worry about PvE separately and monster balance. Um, so, but we also have Battle.net backing us up now. We've learned so much from StarCraft. We can take advantage of everything we've learned from Battle.net and really flesh it out so that you'll have good matchmaking, it'll, it can be skill-based, and we can put achievements where we need to. The thing we're most excited about that we've made a ton of progress on is the rune system. So the skills you've seen before, but the runes have just exploded them in a whole new way. Uh, there are billions, literally, of options uh, and uh, an art to support all of this. And that's what we've had the most fun with that we've been focusing on the most uh, distinctly. We have to look at a few things when we're making something like a new skill rune. Uh, we think, okay, what's the fantasy? That's really important for us. You know, what's the what's the fantasy behind a barbarian? Obviously, swinging a large axe is pretty cool. But what's what's the dual wielding, you know, kind of frenzy barbarian? What what would that look like? So we get a picture in our head, uh, and we try to prototype how that would feel. How how is the pacing? How much damage does it do? How far across the screen? How fast does it recharge your resource or what have you? So um, all you know, the temporal side of it and the visual side of it come together. Um, but we meet very early when we're trying to come up with a new idea for a skill room. We talk to the artist right out of the gates. Uh, we say, hey, what do you guys think would be cool? And from there, it just goes crazy. Our main focus right now is to make sure that Diablo 3 really is what we expect it to be and really that it's the best game that it possibly could be. Um, we're very, very happy with about where it's going and how it's working out. Um, as far as uh, the fans go, uh, we're incredibly appreciative of, of the community. Um, going to something like BlizzCon is incredibly humbling for us. I mean, we get to see everyone playing the game on the floor. It's incredibly exciting for us. We go back to the office, we're really hyped up about it. You know, it's also been a lot of fun to watch people play Diablo 3 on the show floor and see what's going on and, you know, see where our interface is succeeding and where we can make improvements and see what they love. Um, and hearing people stand up and say, man, I love the zombie bears. That was the best thing ever. I mean, I heard that. Uh, that was so inspiring for us and we're so charged up when we get back, when we get back to work.